Ari and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and I would love it if you stayed a while. Click that subscribe button and the bell next to it. When you click that bell, it notifies you when I come out with new content. That's MJ. You'll see him in my videos and he's a cutie. Anyways, so I was away for two weeks and it's because I caught a really nasty cold, but I'm feeling so much better now and I have a new DIY home decor video for you today that I'm really excited about because it incorporates that little guy right there. So I found an embroidery hoop at the thrift store and it was super cheap, $1.50, and I thought I have all this extra fabric. So I'm gonna show you how to make some decor for your front door or your porch. And it's really therapeutic and it's really fun. So if you're interested, keep on watching. All right, so I started off by lint rolling my fabric and it's because my cats are very furry and their fur gets on everything. So to start off, the first layer has to be the smaller hoop. When you take an embroidery hoop apart, there's two that are included. So the smaller one starts off as the base and then you put your fabric sandwiched in between. I'm using two here. You don't have to. If you have a nice thick fabric, you can just use one. And then I put the larger hoop on top and we have to press it nice and tightly together. And then that little screw at the top, as you tighten it, it tightens the fabric inside. But since I'm using two layers of relatively thin fabric, I have to tighten it by pulling the fabric from the outside. And as I pull it, I squeeze the two rings together and you see the fabric start to get nice and tight. So I decided on line art and I googled some cat line art, found one that suited MJ and Sage very well, um, their love-hate relationship, you know. So <laughs> I go in with a regular pencil. I don't have fabric markers at the moment, but this worked just fine. And I add in the line art with a little bit of adjustments, put a couple hearts right on top of them. <laughs> and then I choose a phrase that's going to be arched over and it says, the cats are in charge, we just live here. So I get my <laughs> embroidery needle ready and my thread, which I had bought a couple years ago and didn't have a chance to use until now. So I basically lock a little knot at the end of the thread and I do that by wrapping it around the finger and then pulling it to the end of the finger or my finger, the finger is my finger. <laughs> and then I pull it once I have that bundle of thread at the end of the, of the uh, thread and it creates a knot. And then once you have that, you have to basically start from the back of the embroidery and then thread it up and down up and down nice and simple and I'm leaving a teeny tiny space between my stitches but this is how I like it you don't have to do it this way you can make larger spaces in between totally up to you Switching between colors you have to lock the thread so you turn your embroidery around and you have to thread the thread around itself so you loop it and then you thread <laughs> the thread through that loop pull it and then do that two more times and it locks it it sounds crazy but that's how you lock it at the end and then once you change the color you can start that lock process in the beginning and then lock process at the end there's a lot of youtubers who are great at explaining this and have great visuals so if you're familiar with sewing, you would know this, but not everyone is. So YouTube is a great tool for that. I wanted the red hearts to be filled and I decided that threading it left to right, then right to left was the best 
visually appealing stitch. I don't know much about embroidering, but it ended up coming out perfect. And then I lock that section and I continue on to the phrase. So I'm just working with the colors that I have, but if you want yours to be a solid all one color, that's up to you. If you want it to be colorful, that's up to you as well. So this is where your creativity comes into play. So you can do this DIY while watching a movie or a show. I really enjoyed this one. It was super therapeutic and for me, it was definitely worth the time. It came out perfect and I hope you guys love it too. If you try it out, let me know. And thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being patient with me while I was recovering. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. So MJ, what did you think about my video? If you're new here, welcome, and I would love to stay. Hey, why did I do that? Hey. Welcome, and oh, I touched the mic. Oof. I would love it if you subscribed and stood a while. Is stood a thing? Stayed. Stayed. There's a bell next to So I'm gonna be using it as and welcome back to my channel. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. What the frick aroni? That notifies you when you click it if I come out with new contact contacts. Contacts, really? If you didn't know, there's a little bell next to the notification, and it's, it's what it is. It's a bell notification. If I can speak English correctly, I would know. Wait, do I have any cliffhangers? No, you're good. Okay. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> and I have all this extra fabric. Fabric. <laughs> Click that subscribe button and the bell next to it when it notifies. It's my little baby boy. He's just not only boy.